Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aline Louvi. Welcome again to this channel. And uh, today I'm not alone, as you can see, I'm with my husband. So I'm gonna just let him introduce himself, okay? Hello, family. I hope you all are doing okay. I'm Mike Didi. Uh, today we have a special video for you, so stay tuned. Yeah, so as you already saw the title of this video, today we are going to talk about things that you should know before you come here and uh, things that we didn't know we just discovered here and um, yeah, so we're just going to share with you so that you can be prepared if you have plans to come here in the future, okay? Yeah, you just say it all. It's like before coming, we wish we knew some stuff about the US, about life here and uh after coming here we have discovered that uh the fact that we are together the fact that we are here we have some advantages like some other people don't have and uh, it's important to be sharing our story to be sharing uh, what we are living to be sharing in general what's going on so please don't forget to subscribe like and share with everyone who is interested in uh, this kind of content okay yeah so i'll be back we'll be back after the intro what's the first thing that uh i wish i knew before coming here the first thing i wish you to know before you come here is that is to improve your english as we all know english is the official language in the u.s and uh, besides of english they also uh, need people who speak spanish that we have to know that and for us for example for me coming from a french speaking country uh, sometimes we don't we just apply for the coming to the u.s we, we apply i want to go i'm getting ready things and like this like that but you have to be ready when you come here in which language are you going to communicate with people there are few americans who speak french so your french will not help you in anything here yeah and what i would say about improving your english you can improve your english by watching movies uh, i've really improved myself by movies and uh, i can advise that you try to watch movies in english or listening to music these things really help i suggest you do that okay yeah so that's number one please improve your english before you come here and this is number two this is the most 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 important thing it's the most important thing that without it it's really hard to live in the u.s which is know how to drive okay i wish i knew how to drive before coming here and i wish that you know that before you come here because driving in the u.s is like your your feet okay <laughs> if you can drive that means maybe you don't have feet and um driving if you don't know how to drive here it makes really everything hard life hard things are really uh uh, let's say if you want to go to the market, it's really hard. It's really far from where you live There are no small shops where you can buy things like just walk and come back No, you have to go to the big supermarket and it's really hard Transportation is uh, public transportation areas, especially in the city where we are so we have faced really this uh, difficulty and I wish that you learn how to drive before you come here so that you, it can make your life easier and you can develop yourself faster, gain your independence. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to add something? Uh, no, you have already said everything. So guys, what we wish you to do because we made that mistake. We didn't know how to drive before coming here. In Africa, it's cheaper than here learning how to drive yeah. so please invest in that so that when you come here it will be just like uh, uh, how to say reviewing mm -hmm. stuff and you will go on the road and you can drive and do your stuff easily because it's we are spending a lot of money with uber with uh, some uh, like th those taxis we're spending a lot of money so that we can get from point a to point b the other thing we wish you knew before coming or the other thing i wish you to know before 
coming to the US is to have enough savings. Yeah, having enough savings is uh, really something because life in the US is really expensive. Okay, let's say you want to rent a house. For example, the house we are renting right now is $950 a month. So can you imagine you come with a little money and uh, you can't afford that. So you should really try to save as much as possible before you come here. Because if you don't come with any money, life is really hard here without savings. That's what I can say. When we came here, we had something like uh, $5,000 and it helped us a lot. Okay guys, so I don't want you to have the same amount of money before coming, but please have something with you. Because even if you have a host here, even if you have a family here, it doesn't mean that there is they are going to take care of you 100%. Okay, you are an adult, so you have to take care of yourself, especially when you come with your whole family. You have to pay for your green card you have to pay for, for for your transportation maybe you have to pay for the house if you want to rent a house here before uh renting a house especially in our state you have to have a job first before renting a house and sometimes the job is not coming but with your own savings you can take the money and show them that i have the money i can pay for like one or three months uh before getting a job so they can give you the, the house they can give you the, the apartment like that but if you don't have anything how are you going to afford some stuff some uh, those administrative things here how are you going to afford them how are you going to eat because there are some hosts when you go to the place we were lucky the place we went like our host when we came uh, they really treated us very well. We, are, we have to acknowledge that. But for you, we not we don't know your case. Maybe you have to contribute so that uh, for for the food you have to contribute for the electric the bills the, the electricity bill or for the gas bill. But if you don't have any money, who is going to receive you? Who is going to accept to live with such a person? So be responsible and have enough savings. Yeah, so please have enough savings. Life is really hard in the US, okay? So that you don't find yourself sleeping in the road. Yeah, so another thing is uh, you should know that when you come to the US, when you come on a DV lottery um, visa, you have to know that you have all the, the rights. You can still go back to school or you can work. It's up to you. Yeah, so you should know that when you come here, you can't go immediately after to school after you reach here. You have to um, stay, get uh, stable or um, settle in. Maybe for a few months, you can start by doing some small jobs, maybe work in the McDonald's, work in the warehouse or, you know, those little jobs which are not really professional. So you should start by that so that you can get stable, that you can go back to school later. About this point, you have to know that uh, we all wish a better life. And uh, for having a better life, school is one of the ways having a green card allows you uh, you have a lot of rights here you can do business you can do a lot of stuff and going to school also you have that right you can even have a scholarship you can get a scholarship from a school there are a lot of stuff but in america mostly school you have to pay for it or you can or you can get a loan from somewhere and you pay your studies but uh, you cannot just come and go straight to school it's impossible you came here for like you have to settle first you have to have your own place like i mean maybe why not buying a house before going back to school why not uh you know, like having everything okay and you can go back to school so when you, you will come don't expect going directly to school because you have a lot of stuff to uh build like because it's a new life you have to have everything first so that you can go to school you have to be prepared about that the other point is uh here you will learn how to be alone how to live alone because people don't get along with other people easily 
which is really different from Africa. In Africa, you can wake up in the morning and go say hi to your neighbor and uh, do some gossiping, you know. <laughs> but here, you wake up with your house or with your husband, if you have a husband. <laughs> Or if you have someone in the house, you only talk to that person because everyone is in their houses. So um, you should be prepared for that because if you are not prepared, you can go into depression. You can have some suicidal thoughts in your mind. A lot of things going on. You have to pay bills. You have to a, ro- a lot of responsibilities that you find yourself alone. You have nobody to share with. So please try to be prepared mentally, physically, emotionally to live by yourself because you can depend on people. Try to learn that. Another thing that we want you to know is that um, you have to be humble when you come here. America will humble you. Whether you like it or no, you will be humble when you come here. So many people came here, they have like... PH degrees or they have their bosses in their countries they come here when they come here life takes you from here to here so you have to be humble you come you start from afresh from the beginning then start building a little by little I know some people who came here like they own houses in their in their countries others did a lot of uh, education education in their countries but when they came here they tell you like you have to go back to school or to start uh, to start a life like from going maybe working in the restaurant working in a warehouse so people most of the people uh, some of them decided to go back into their countries and continue there so if you have a stable life you have a good salary or you have a good business in your country why come here anyways so i would suggest that you be humble when you come here okay. so you know it's life it's life you know you cannot just uh, leave your country and come here and you start at the level that you were in your country yeah. I, I didn't I, I, I don't mean that it's impossible but you have to know that America is another country it's another system mm-hmm. it's everything is different yeah. even for studies even if you were you had a PhD back home you had a, you had a master's back home when you come here your master's sometimes doesn't have the same value with the masters of the people who have studied here yeah. so you have to uh, like sometimes they will tell you for those who want to go back to school sometimes they will tell you you have to do this masters again like you have to redo the master you don't have you, th- this masters doesn't have any value here sometimes they, they will tell you something like that for those who already have their position they are directors they are leaders they are ma- managers but they come here don't think that you will be having the same position here. So be humble. Start from where you have to start and go step by step. And uh, that's also allow you to, to to know the system, how it works, how to make money out. And the good thing with here is that there are a lot of opportunities that you can grab that can become yours if you are, for example, in business. So just know uh just be patient just be humble and go step by step Uh, most of all you when you come here you have to have a plan okay a future maybe in five years i want to be this and this i want to do that so you have that plan when you start maybe the first year you can start maybe working in a warehouse or in a restaurant then you build your credit or you you have where you live you get stable then the next year you can start going to school and after that you can decide what to do next okay and level up your life a little bit yeah so most of all have a plan and be humble we already talked about loneliness and we want to talk about the importance of having a partner for me you know guys it's a blessing to have such a beautiful lady such a beautiful lady with me and uh, such a intelligent comprehensive uh, lady with me and i wish you to to have the same kind of person because uh it's so important when you are abroad and uh, to act to be acting like a team 
this is my wife but she's also my partner that's how the couple has to be because you will be going through a lot of stuff here you'll be going through a lot of depression here you'll be going through a lot of i don't know how to how to describe them but it's very important to have someone with you so the first advice that i can give you if you have the possibility to bring someone with you someone that you love that you know that you can build the future together do it my my my, my friend do it my dear it's very important because when you're alone here it's not a good thing and the other advantage that i have noticed of being together of having a partner is that when you work like as i told you as we told you that you will start from somewhere and the salary might not be good and you have to afford the house you have to afford the bills of uh, the, the water bills the electricity bills and every other stuff uh, maybe your data's the wi-fi a lot of stuff and sometimes that's why you, you see people they have uh, a good salary but they, they they don't have a lot of savings but when you are together when you are two people when you are three people all of you can work you see it's a team and you can afford all the stuff easily because if i spend all my money by uh, maybe paying this and that we can keep our money because it's a family it's the family account it's a family like we work in as a team so it's very important to have a partner with you it's very important to bring your partner with you i wanted to emphasize on this Mm -hmm. we've said like everything bring someone with you because your partner becomes your best friend here it's really hard to make friends here. <laughs> yeah that's also a problem <laughs> yeah so your partner becomes your best friend here so try to um, bring someone don't be selfish come here by yourself think up of bringing someone who you can build something together because as he said here you spend a lot more than you you gain okay yeah, yeah you spend more than that so when you have someone you can spend somebody's money and keep the others so it's still you you yeah you just have to have a strategy how you're going to make it mm -hmm. because this is the country of dreams yeah. it's the country where uh if uh, where all is possible for those who believe those who believe in themselves mm -hmm. and when you come as a team it's a it's a strength and you can do great things yeah so that's it for this uh, point thank you guys for watching this video and thanks to my husband who was here to share with you his uh, point of view and i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video okay stay tuned and be safe out there bye